My mother passed away very sadly about 18 months ago. She lived a very full life and a very happy life apart from the last two years when she suffered from blindness. Like many elderly people, her world closed in around her and she became increasingly lonely. When it came to deciding what to do with the inheritance that she'd passed us, I decided that it would be right and fitting to vary the terms of her will. When all the legal process had been completed, the solicitor simply passed the money directly to the Church Urban Fund. We went to Millennium Academy in South London, which gives elderly people experience and training in using computers, mobile phones, and any other gadgets. Hello, Hello. I'm Steve. Morning, welcome to Central Hill. What we do in the Millennium Academy is ensure that we explain online what it means, um, showing them how to access various opportunities. Recently, we've just been doing Facebook, teaching them how to look for family. So they're the wedding photos? Yes, that's my niece. Okay, let's bring this up. It brings them in to avoid isolation. The Millennium Project is, is very moving and um, inspiring. I mean, Annette is superb as a, as a tutor, and the one-to-one -one contact that people are getting here is first class. It was very moving to see Mum's money being put to a very good cause. We also came to the Posh Club, which provides three hours of catering and entertainment of a very high professional standard. Hello, Neil. Steve. I'm Hi, Steve. Steve. Very nice to meet you. Welcome yeah. to West Hackney. Thank you. I've never been here before in my Haven't life. You? Well, <laughs> you're very welcome. What the Posh Club seeks to do is to be a place where people who are lonely or isolated can come into our church hall, be greeted at the door warmly, serve tea, scones, sandwiches, meet with friends, enjoy some really high-class entertainment and have a really good time. This is touching the lives of people who are lonely, who don't get out, who are facing isolation, and it's making a big difference. I'm absolutely blown away. I can remember when I first came to London, the um, afternoon tea dance used to happen in, in my church hall 40 years ago, and it's all died out now. Um, and this has actually resurrected it all. The greatest thing that has struck me is that the secret of success is obviously to tap into people's needs, where people are, and you've shown me two projects which do just that.